What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a sticky scroll to top button using Elementor. Now I have done a video on this in the past, but I feel like I just didn't explain things properly, and I feel like you guys deserve a lot better. I did get some feedback on that video, um, and I just wanted to give you guys an update and just create an entirely new video. I have deleted that one, so don't worry about that video anymore. If you guys do have any questions, just go ahead and watch this video. And I hope you guys do end up enjoying it. If you guys do find the video helpful, make sure to watch the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now I hope you guys enjoy. Now before we begin, I know that some of you may be wondering how I built this website here. I have a tutorial on creating this responsive website. I'll try to link it right above. Now let's go ahead and hop over to Elementor. Okay, and then the next thing that we need to do is we're gonna need to add an arrow somewhere around here. Now, preferably you would be doing it in your footer just so then it can load on every website if you are using Elementor Pro. But for this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a section right above my footer. And then, now there's two ways of, of adding your, um, you can either add a button that scrolls to the top and then you can just add an arrow to it but i'm just going to do an arrow icon so i'm going to type an icon and i'm just going to use my icon element i'm going to drag it in here i'm going to go to search for my icon and i'm going to search for an arrow and i'm going to grab this arrow here and i'm going to go ahead and choose this one And then from here, I'm going to go ahead, go to my style, and I'm going to add a fill color. And I want it to go with my website, so I'm going to have it black. I think that's perfect. And then make sure that you have your um, icon selected. Go into advance. And we just want to position this. So go to positioning and on our width we want to set this to inline just so then we the box only surrounds the icon and then other part is our positioning here part's probably the most important we're going to go ahead and set this to fixed now as you can tell right now it's set to fixed but it's set to the top. So we want to go ahead and set this to the bottom right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this my vertical orientation. I want to go ahead and set it to the bottom. And then I want to go ahead and set my um, horizontal orientation right here. There we go. Now if we go ahead and view this website, there are a few things that we need to do before that. We will notice that we have our arrow here. Now, the issue is that I see a lot of people do sometimes is that your arrow might not be mobile optimized sometimes. I mean, right now it's working great. Um, we just need to add some spacing to it. But I really did want to go over this because you might have you might be having that issue. Now, because I have done a video like this in the past, and I honestly wanted to redo this video um, just because I feel like I didn't explain things properly and I feel like I could have done a much better job. So I have deleted that video and that's why I'm uploading this one in case you're wondering. So instead of using pixels this time, we're going to be using viewport width and viewport height. And the reason why we want to be using those is because those are set to be responsive. Now, viewport width. Uh, just kind of think about it this way. It's pretty much, if I were to add one, or sorry, let me just add it. one. One is considered 1% one of the entire uh, the entire screen width. And then if I set the viewport height over here, if I set it to one, you see that one is 1% one of your screen height. 
So, oops, let me set that one. I don't think I set that one properly here. So, like I said, 1% here of your um of your screen width. So, there we go. Now it's actually set properly. That was just kind of glitching out right there. So, I'm going to set both of these to one. Now, as you can tell, our scroll to top button is working good. It's pretty responsive there. Now, let's go ahead and just test out our scroll to top button and see how responsive it is. So, I'm going to click on, I'm going to right click and click inspect. I'm going to move this over here. And as you can tell, on every screen size, it seems to be responsive. So it's all looking pretty good. I don't have any issues with that. Now the only issue here is that it's not doing its job. It's not working. So now we just need to go ahead and set up a um, scroll to ID. Very simple. So go back to your um, Elementor editor. And then we want it to scroll to our, we want it to scroll above right to the top, of course. So I need to go ahead and add an ID to my section. Now, if you are using um, Elementor Pro and you do want to go ahead and have this on every single page, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your header builder and click on your header, go to advance, and you want to go ahead and set up a CSS ID. And I'm going to call this scroll up or scroll up actually. I'm going to call this scroll up. Now we need to go ahead and click on our um, scroll to top button or our scroll up button here. And we need to go to the content and we need to set up a link. And go ahead and add a uh, number sign. And we want to do scroll up. Now, if you click on this, you notice that'll scroll up right for us. Now, like I mentioned, if you are using um, Elementor Pro and you want to have this on multiple um, pages, I would go ahead and grab this and copy it and then go into your footer and paste it in your footer. And I think you should be set. Now, if you guys do have any questions on that, just feel free to reach out to me. Now, if we go ahead and click on update, And I'm going to scroll to the bottom. As you can tell, now this works properly there. And this is completely responsive. Go. And there we go. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys do have any questions on this, feel free to reach out to me and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. Now, if you guys did end up finding this video helpful, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Definitely helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my videos. Now, that's pretty much it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.